and one sleep later and everything seems to be working again. We've heard nothing from show underscore TV on Twitter about Airshow being down, but Emu4io signed has reported that Airshow is back up and running, so let's go and test it out. As per usual, I'm going to use the savagepool.com link, which tends to be the most reliable and up-to-date, and if it is fixed, then this could be the quickest fix ever, because it went down about 12 hours ago. So that's downloaded, let's give it a try, and it looks as if the certificate has changed, which is a good sign. Currently untrusted, but we all know how to fix that by now. Go to General, scroll down to Profiles and Device Management, tap on the Enterprise app, and then the blue trust button red pop-up, and now let's give Airshow another try and see if we can get into the program. Boom, we are up and running again. Now, before I end this video, when I uploaded last night to tell you that Airshow was down, I was getting a lot of comments about it still working, which is quite odd. So what I have here is two iPads. On the bottom, we have a 64-bit iPad, which is trying to install Airshow and couldn't install it last night. However, on the top, we have a 32-bit iPad, which had Airshow installed from a while ago, and as you can see, it's still working. So these are two iPads connected to the same Wi-Fi network. One of the versions of Airshow isn't working, and then an older version, 0.5.1, was still working on this iPad and it had an older certificate which had been revoked earlier on. So whether the certificate had been re-signed or not, it was a bit odd, so it still works, which I found a bit strange. So what I decided to do at this point was delete the application off this iPad where it was working and then try and reinstall it to see what happened. And lo and behold, when I tried to reinstall it, it wouldn't work. So this might explain why sometimes it works for some people, but it's not for others. It might be that you had an older certificate, which is now working again. It's all a bit odd, and I'm going to try and ask the developer for more information about this to see if he can explain why sometimes you are lucky and why sometimes you are not unlucky. We'll see if he gives us an answer. And to wrap up this video, I wanted to give you a YouTube insider's viewpoint of why I make so many airshow videos. Whenever the application goes down, views peak on my videos. So it only makes sense to me to post more videos about Airshow to give you all the up-to-date information. While I appreciate this may be a frustration to some of you, YouTube has chosen me for whatever reason to be the leading authority on Airshow and promote my videos, which means that when people search for it, I get lots of views. So it only makes sense to make more content about it. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Next Airshow update will probably be the iOS 10 release. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.